Good morning, Copper Bass and Today is Wednesday, August 31st, 2016. I'm Abby. I'm Kobe. On today's show, we'll be talking about Olympic medal, church leader, U.S. actor. So let's get the show started. A young girl who found the return of stolen Olympic gold medal got to meet his grateful owner on Monday... On Monday, the seven-year-old Chloe Smith found the medal in the pile of trash while walking, while out walking with her father, and returned the Olympic canoe racer, and returned it to the Olympic canoe racer Joe Jacoby. Jacoby won the gold medal in 1992 Olympics in Spain, but lost it back in June after a thief broke into his car and stole it. He promised he would visit Chloe's classroom in Atlanta to thank her for for, for returning his prized possession. That's all for this. So let's go to weather. Today's weather, mostly sunny and slight chance of showers and thunderstorms early in the afternoon and chance of showers and thunderstorms late in the afternoon. Highs in the mid-70s to upper 80s, chance of rain 30%, tonight partly cloudy 30%, chance of showers and thunderstorms in the evening, lows in the mid-upper 60s, 30 partly sunny, a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms in the morning, then a chance of showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon, highs in the 70s and 80s, chance of rain. 40% now to World News with Matthew. U.S. actor Gene Wilder, remembered by many for his lead role in Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, has died at the age of 83, his family has confirmed. In 1971, he took on the role of one of his most beloved characters, Willy Wonka, in Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. That's all for World News. Now to our P PSA. The Industrial Electricity class is a three-semester hands-on program taught on the main Chattanooga State campus. Accredited by the National Center for Construction Education Research, this comprehensive course trains students to work in a field facing a critical skilled workforce shortage. Industrial electricity is a broad field of employment involving both inside and outside work. Some electricians may specialize in building and installing new electrical equipment involving transformers, motor drives, and programmable logic controllers. Others may focus on repairing and troubleshooting alarms, wiring, and switches. The course begins with instruction in the use of the electrician's tools, including voltmeters, ammeters, ohmmeters, and various hand tools. Students also learn safe practices to protect themselves and others from the inherent dangers involved with working with electricity. Electricians are among the highest wage earners in a specialty field with residential, commercial, or industrial applications. You could be on your way to a rewarding career through the Industrial Electricity Program from the Tennessee College of Applied Technology at Chattanooga State. Welcome to sports. I'm Matthew. I'm Kenny. Uh, WFF, WFAA TV in Dallas is reporting that Texas Rangers reliever Jeremy Jeffries has been arrested for drunk driving. Details of the arrest are not yet available. He was jailed just after 5 a.m. today. Uh, last night we had a volleyball game against Grace, but unfortunately lost. Today's sports fact of the day, until 1936, the jump ball and basketball took place at center court after every single May basket. Kenny. Would you get tired of jump balling every single basket made? Yeah. I would well. too. I would too. Now to lunch with Hannah. Today's lunch and line one is stuffed crust pizza, side salad, green beans. Madrin oranges, fruit, mixed fruit and milk. And line two is hot dog, baked potato rounds, coleslaw, fresh sliced oranges, grape juice and milk. For tomorrow's breakfast, and line one is breakfast pizza, fruit, juice and milk. And line two is cinnamon, strawberry, bagel, fruit, juice and milk. 
not a local. A youth church leader is facing charges. William Cage is accused of raping a child he mentored and threatening him if he reported the abuse. Police said the abuse went on for years, but the 11-year-old boy only recently told his mother. The 20-year-old was arrested May 24th. Memphis police say right now they believe that the boy was Cage's only victim. Cage's father is stunned by his son's arrest. All I can say is he came up front and confessed to it, and that's all I know, said his father. Now to our sponsors. Many will hear the calling. Few will earn the title. United States Marine. The few, the proud, the Marines. For today's announcement, ACT retake is October 22nd. RTI starts tomorrow for everyone. Clubs start today. Those are the basic clubs. So we have Student Council, HOSA slash FBLA, Classical Album, Quilting 2, Book Club, Creative Writing, and Drama. And if you have any videos, you can send it to our email. Um, there is a chance the seniors will still get to go to Washington, D.C., so there's a sign-up sheet in the Media Center. If you'd like to have more information, go to Ms. Cribs. That's all we have for today's show. So I'll see you tomorrow on CBTV News in 9.